Welcome back. Go ahead and suffocate the like button. Stick around until the end to see our next disturbing story you can't afford to miss. Shadows of Slender Man In the fading light of a late autumn evening, the small town of Harrow's Edge whispered of the chilling tale of the Slender Man, a spectral figure, impossibly tall, with unnaturally long limbs, clad in a black suit, and a face so devoid of features, it seemed to swallow light. The story, told in hushed tones by the locals, was that of a creature that stalked the town's sprawling, dense forest, preying on those foolish enough to wander into the woods after sunset. Amber, a curious and defiant teenager, was fascinated by the legend. Dismissing the warnings as mere attempts to scare her, she convinced her group of friends, Jenna, Tyler, and Mike, to explore the forest and debunk the myth of the Slender Man once and for all. Equipped with flashlights, cameras, and a mix of excitement and trepidation, the group ventured into the woods. As they walked deeper into the forest, the trees seemed to close in around them, the light from their flashlights flickering shadows across the path. Every rustle of leaves heightened their senses, and the eerie quietude that enveloped them only served to amplify their fears. The deeper they ventured, the more disoriented they became. It wasn't long before Amber realized that the familiar paths she had walked so many times during the day had transformed into an unrecognizable labyrinth by night. It was as if the forest itself was rearranging, distorting their sense of direction. Jenna, the most skeptical among them, suddenly stopped and pointed her flashlight towards a clearing where the fog gathered thicker, swirling unnaturally. Do you see that? She whispered, her voice trembling. There, amidst the swirling mist, stood the slender man, his tall, gaunt silhouette outlined against the pale moonlight, his face a blank canvas of darkness. The sight paralyzed them with fear, their minds struggling to make sense of the figure that should not exist. Without warning, the slender man moved, or rather, glided towards them, his arms extending as if to reach out and pull them into his shadowy embrace. Panic erupted among the friends. Mike turned and ran, disappearing into the dense undergrowth, his cries fading into the distance. Tyler, fumbling with his camera, managed to snap a photo before his terror overtook him, and he too sprinted away, leaving Amber and Jenna alone with the advancing figure. Jenna grabbed Amber's arm. We need to leave now, she hissed, pulling her friend along as they ran, their footsteps thunderous in the otherwise silent woods. As they fled, the forest seemed to come alive, branches twisting and roots curling to trip them, the very earth seeming to conspire with the Slender Man. His presence loomed ever near, a suffocating aura of dread that promised despair. Breathless and desperate, Amber and Jenna found themselves at the edge of an old, forgotten pond, the water black and still. The fog was thicker here, swirling with intent, and as they glanced back, they saw him, just beyond the trees, watching, waiting. We can't outrun him, Jenna breathed, her eyes wide with terror. Amber, her heart pounding in her chest, knew Jenna was right. The Slender Man was not just a pursuer. He was the embodiment of the forest's darkest desires, a creature that fed on fear and could manipulate reality to ensnare his prey. As they stood by the pond, the cold seeping into their bones, Amber felt a deep, overwhelming despair wash over her. It was then she realized the Slender Man didn't just chase, he haunted, breaking down his victims until escape became inconceivable. The story of the Slender Man was far from just a tale, and as the night grew darker around Amber and Jenna, the true horror of their situation became chillingly clear. The forest held its breath, the silence a grim portent of what was to come. Amber's mind raced as she stared into the impenetrable darkness where the Slender Man lurked. Every instinct screamed for her to run, to escape this nightmare, but her legs felt as if they were rooted to the ground by the same dark magic that seemed to animate the forest itself. Jenna, sensing Amber's paralysis, grabbed her hand tightly. We need to think, not just run, she whispered fiercely. Her eyes darted around, searching for any sign of a path or a weapon, anything that could offer them a sliver of hope. As the slender man began to glide closer, his movements eerily silent, a faint glimmer caught Amber's eye. 
Near the edge of the pond lay an old, rusted lantern, possibly left behind by a less fortunate soul. Without thinking, she lunged for it, her fingers wrapping around the cold metal. The lantern felt unnaturally heavy, imbued with an energy that Amber couldn't understand, but she instinctively felt it was significant. Help me light it, Amber hissed to Jenna as they fumbled with the old lantern. Jenna, pulling out a pack of matches from her pocket, struck one, the flame flickering to life with a small, defiant crackle. The light seemed almost sacred in the oppressive darkness that surrounded them. As Jenna held the flame to the wick, the lantern flared brightly, casting a radiant light that cut through the fog like a beacon. The slender man recoiled as the light touched him, his form shimmering and distorting, as if the very radiance was anathema to his existence. Seizing the moment, Amber held the lantern high, stepping back towards the pond, her eyes locked on the slender man. Stay back, she cried, her voice echoing across the water. The slender man paused, his featureless face tilting as if considering them. The woods around them seemed to pulse with a silent, expectant rhythm, as though the trees themselves were watching, waiting for the outcome of this confrontation. Jenna and Amber began to slowly circle the pond, keeping the lantern between them and the slender man. With each step, they felt the oppressive weight of the forest bear down upon them, the eyes of unseen creatures watching from the shadows. Suddenly, from the darkness behind them, a low growl emanated, and another form emerged from the woods. It was not the Slender Man, but something else, equally tall but more beastly, with glowing eyes and limbs that ended in sharp, claw-like appendages. The new creature moved towards them with a predatory grace, its eyes fixed not on them, but on the Slender Man. Amber and Jenna froze, caught between two nightmares. The Slender Man, sensing the presence of the other creature, turned slowly, facing this new challenger. A tense, eerie silence fell over the forest, the only sounds the soft lapping of the pond's water and the girl's shallow breaths. The two entities stood motionless, an ancient enmity palpable in the air between them. Amber and Jenna, clutching the lantern, watched in horrified fascination, aware that they were witnessing a spectral confrontation far beyond human understanding. As the standoff continued, Amber realized that their escape might lie in this unexpected distraction. She whispered to Jenna, planning their careful, quiet retreat from the pond, each step away from the unfolding supernatural battle, a step towards the safety of the known world. But as they inched away, the ground beneath them began to tremble, the air charged with a preternatural energy. The confrontation was about to escalate, the forest itself bracing for the impact of a clash that had been centuries in the making. Amber and Jenna, hearts pounding, managed only a few more steps away from the pond when a sudden, deafening crack echoed through the forest, stopping them in their tracks. They turned just in time to see the Slender Man and the beastly creature lunging at each other, their forms blurring into a vortex of shadows and unearthly roars. The air around them seemed to distort, the fabric of reality bending under the force of their battle. As they fought, the ground beneath Amber and Jenna's feet split, creating a chasm that emitted a strange, glowing light. The light pulsed rhythmically, as if breathing, drawing the attention of both monstrous entities. The fighting ceased abruptly. Both the Slender Man and the creature turned their gaze towards the chasm, their hostility momentarily forgotten in the face of this new phenomenon. Amber, still clutching the lantern, pulled Jenna closer to the chasm to investigate, despite the danger. As they approached, the light from the chasm grew stronger, revealing that it wasn't just light, but a portal of some kind, swirling with colors that didn't belong in their world. The Slender Man and the creature, now standing side by side, seemed to communicate in a silent understanding, their previous animosity set aside. They turned, facing Amber and Jenna directly. It was then that Amber understood. The fight was not for dominance or territory, but to protect this ancient portal, a gateway to realms unknown and perhaps unchecked. In an unexpected twist, the Slender Man extended a hand, or what seemed like one, towards Amber, gesturing to the lantern. Realizing it was the light from the lantern that had first repelled the Slender Man and attracted the creature, she hesitated, then driven by a sudden impulse, handed it over. 
The Slender Man took the lantern and together with the creature approached the portal. To Amber and Jenna's amazement, the Slender Man and the creature used the lantern to seal the portal. The light from the lantern, combined with the dark energy of both beings, fused into a single pulsating beam that closed the chasm, the ground reforming as if it had never been split. As the last echoes of the closing portal faded, the Slender Man and the creature, now guardians of a sealed secret, vanished without a trace, leaving behind a silent, empty forest. The oppressive atmosphere lifted, and for the first time that night, the forest seemed just like any other. Amber and Jenna, alone now, looked at each other in bewildered silence, the weight of what they had witnessed settling upon them. They had come seeking a myth and found a reality that challenged every belief they held about their world. As they made their way back to the village, the first light of dawn began to creep through the trees, painting the sky with hues of pink and gold. They knew their story incredible and unbelievable, would be met with skepticism. Yet the truth of that night was theirs to keep. They had seen the edge of another existence, touched the boundary of another realm, and the memory of that would haunt them far more than any ghostly tale ever could. Thank you for listening. Now watch this video 